Hello everyone. In our last video, we have seen about file path in the data set. In this video, we are going to see about wildcard. If you are new to our channel, hit on subscribe. Your subscription will motivate us to produce more video in better quality. I have framed a few scenarios and I am going to explain how we are going to handle in this video. In case if you know the exact incoming file name, then you can use file path in the data set methodology. Let's take the first example student.xlsx here we know the complete file name so you can prefer this first method we have shown this uh, in our last video let me show that so in our data factory playlist just navigate to the second video and here i have explained about file path in the data set just watch if you haven't watched them now let's get back to our scenarios and for the next one we don't have the exact file name. The file name could have uh, one more uh, integer at the end or some characters at the end. It's like student data and then some numbers are there. So in this case, uh, we can go for wildcards. Here for wildcard, you need to add one question mark instead of that specific character. Since we have one character, I have added one question mark. In the next scenario, if you see there are uh, two characters, either it can be some numbers or some alphabets so in this kind of scenarios what we need to do is we need to add two question marks as a placeholder and in the next scenario if you see the characters appears in the middle so in this case also you can use the same item you can just put one question mark as a placeholder and for the last scenario uh, maybe you may not uh, know how many characters may come up in this case you can use star so first option is use like this and second option is to use it like a star dot xlx meaning like the file format so you can use both of the options we have created this data factory in our last video and we have added this copy activity and in the source if you see we have selected file path in the data set because in last scenario we know the exact file name and in the data set as well we have provided the file name so with this itself we were able to uh, do a copy activity but for our current scenario we don't know the exact file name meaning like a character may appear so let me show the file name so if you see this file uh, you will find one character after student data so in this scenario how we are going to uh, handle this let me remove uh, the file name from here from input data set as well and then in the output data set as well and let me go to copy activity in the copy activity without selecting wildcard if I try to uh, run it it will show up some error because we didn't specify the file name if we are not specifying the file name then we should select wildcard and also it is asking us to provide the sheet name so navigate to the input data set and under here you need to hard code the sheet name since we didn't uh, provide any uh, file name this won't come automatically we need to type it and again in the copy activity just select wildcard after selecting wildcard file path here we need to provide the wildcard file name since our file name is student data to dot xlsx i have added question mark instead of two which is the placeholder so student data two student data three so whatever the file it may it will pick up so this is how we can handle file name with a single placeholder now let us run our data factory and let me navigate to the output container and let's wait for it to complete it ran fine now let us go to our output container and refresh See that specific file is picked up and processed. Similarly, in case if your file name is having two characters, let's say student data 52.xlsx, in this case, just add double question mark as a placeholder. In the next scenario, which we are going to see is the file name is having the character at the middle. So in order to handle it, add a question mark in the middle. And in the last scenario, in case if he doesn't know the exact number of characters, we can make use of star 
so there are two ways either you can define uh, half of the uh, file name and you can put it as star or you can put star followed by the format of the file name so either way you can do it let's see how to do i have uploaded few files in our scenario we need to pick up only this file we need to ignore the rest of the file let me show how we can handle this in azure data factory let's navigate to our data factory which we have created and here just add the question mark as a placeholder and followed by the rest of the file name so this will pick up student data 5 type dot xlsx file alone it will ignore the rest of the files in the next scenario if you notice there are uh, too many characters uh, here so which may keep on change so in order to handle them let me upload the file first let me select the file and open and upload yeah i have uploaded the file in, into our input container so in this scenario it will pick up all the file that is having a student data followed by any characters it can be one or number of many characters it doesn't matter it will pick up all the files whatever available in the input container see all these files it will pick up and process because we have specified star over there so let's try to run it it is still running let me, yeah it got completed let's switch to output container yeah so all the files it have been picked up and processed the other way to handle the same scenario is by adding star followed by the file format so you can just put like this star and followed by the file format this will also work in the same way you can do either way in next video we will see about prefix so the arm template of the data factory which we are showing in this video will be uploaded to this azure devops repository i will be providing the url this is completely public you can just go ahead go here and download instead of creating a data set and link and the copy activity from the scratch you can just make use of this arm template click on the repositories and under repos you will find various repository just select adf arm template inside the repository you will find various arm template for this video you need to download wildcard.zip which is third file you can even download any of the arm template available which will be used in further videos so let me show how just select this and you will find a download option over here just click on this to directly download since it is a zip file you can directly download you can import this in your azure data factory so in case if you are not aware how to uh, import an arm template i have already posted one video so you can just watch it and see how you can import in your azure data factory in order to start directly working instead of creating from the scratch thank you for watching this video and i request you to subscribe my channel your subscription will motivate us to produce more video in better quality thank you bye bye